Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to go through how to submit assignments as a student in a Google Classroom. So this is the student's Google Classroom. In the stream page, you are able to view the announcements and a summary of assignments posted by your teacher. You can click on the assignment. In the assignment page, read the instructions to complete the assignment given by your teacher. So in this case, you can read the instruction given by your teacher, which is to complete the worksheet in Google Doc and click hand in. So in this page, you can post public comments if this has been enabled by your teacher setting. And once you have posted, this is viewable by the whole class. You can also post private comments to your teacher if you have any question to ask your teacher privately. This can only be viewed by your teacher. As for the attach or create options, do not click or add or create unless it has been approved by a teacher. Always go to your teacher to check whether you are going to add or create. Click on the assignments and complete the assignments as instructed in the page. So for example, this is the first type of assignment which is Google Doc. Complete the assignments, click turn in. You can also go back to the assignment page and click turn in to submit assignments. Click Confirm to turn in assignments. Now let's look at the teacher's view. Teachers are able to view the public comments and private comments posted by you. So just now we have posted a private comment. The teacher can view the assignment and so see that you have turned in the assignment and your teacher can see that you have posted a private comment for your teacher. If your teacher has posted reading material, you are only required to read any attachment that is attached. There is no need to turn in the work. Your teacher may assign you Google Slides. The method of submitting of Google Slides are the same, which is to click into Google Slides, complete any instructions that are given by your teacher, go back to the assignment page and click Turn In, which is like the Google Doc that we have completed just now. So in this case, I'm going to follow the teacher's instructions to complete. Go back to the assignment page and mark as done. The third type of assignment can be a form of quiz or Google Forms. Just click into the assignment and answer the questions before clicking the submit button. The fourth type of assignment is in question form. You will type your answer and click hand in. You can view your classmate's answer if this has been enabled by your teacher. You can also post any class comment. Once you are done typing the answer, which is found on the right hand corner of the page, click hand in. So you can view your classmate's answer, which is found on the top page, which allows you to either reply to your classmate's answer if this has been enabled by your teacher setting. On the left-hand page of the assignment page are the topics. You can click view your work to see the assignments that are completed and handed in, any missing assignments and assignments that are graded. Click Google Calendar to view the due date of all assignments to help you to keep on track of the assignments that you have to submit. Make sure you submit all the assignments before the deadline. So you are able to see the assignments on, that are due on different dates. In the Class Drive folder, you can find all the documents in your Google Drive. 